I've always leaned towards the more simple designs in my home because I'm afraid the bolder I go, the sooner I'll get sick of it. But I've recently been branching out with new decor styles and I wanted to take that even further in this powder bath by really stepping out of my comfort zone. We're going to make this whole bathroom a statement in itself with dark colors on the walls, lots of textures within the decor, adding in patterns with wallpaper, and lots of character with vintage pieces. We thrifted and sourced all of these finds from budget-friendly marketplaces. For this video, I partnered up with Timu for almost all of the materials and decor used for this renovation, and we managed to completely transform our guest powder bath from a dull, builder-grade bathroom to a warm yet bold vintage oasis on a major, major budget. Throughout this video, I'll be sharing the price of each item so you can really get an idea of just how budget-friendly this whole makeover really is. You can definitely get a really high-end look without spending a ton of money, so I can't wait to show you exactly how we achieved that. Let's get started. Here's what our builder grade bathroom is looking like right now. This is the bathroom on our main level, and although it's very small, it's the only bathroom on this level, so guests are always using it. This bathroom is very dull, and we have not touched this space since we moved in, so it's a long overdue for a renovation. Our goal is to make this bathroom very inviting and cozy. I want to go for a more vintage feel and really add in some character to this space. I want it to look bold, yet charming at the same time, quite the opposite of what it is now. <laughs> Here in Colorado, it's not standard to have window trim in new build homes, which is so silly if you ask me, but that is okay. My husband Nick and I have started putting window trim on every window in our house as we go around and renovate each room. So the first thing we're doing is starting with that. I actually have a whole video going in depth on how we easily DIY'd our window trim. So I will leave that here if you want a full tutorial, but I'll fly right through this part because we have a lot more to do in here. You guys, like I said earlier, this video is in partnership with Timu and I'm honestly so shocked of how many different items they sell for such good prices. They have site-wide sales with savings up to 90% off, which is kind of insane. Um, I got things from every category, from the sink faucet to the curtains to all the decor I used in this bathroom. I was pleasantly surprised to see their selection to choose from on their app. A lot of the things I found on their website are also sold at other places, but for double the price, Price. Shipping was pretty fast and also free, so I can't complain there. And while yes, this is sponsored, Nick and I are genuinely so happy with how this makeover turned out. And it's truly because of all these items from Timu. You can get exclusive deals by using the Timu app. And I also have a code where you can save $100. You can also click the link in the description to shop. I really want the walls to feel dark and moody. I have been really into the dark taupey brown color and I think that it's a great color to use to make a statement while also remaining neutral so it's not too overwhelming and it's not something that I'll get sick of over time. This part was the investment of the bathroom for sure. I used a gallon of authentic Venetian plaster on three of the bathroom walls and I am so glad I actually spent more on the real stuff because it really makes a difference in the whole bathroom in the end. If you're not familiar with Venetian plaster, it's made from lime and marble. It's thicker than paint, almost like a mud consistency. I mixed mine with a tad bit of water. It doesn't say that you're supposed to do that, but I did just because I felt like I needed to and to get even more mix out of it. It also helps with mixing everything together. You wanna make sure that you really, really mix it up well. I'm using a trowel to spread this on the walls and you wanna just spread it out using different X motions and I just spread it until there's nothing left to spread. 
basically as far out as I can on each little part. And then I repeated that process until the entire wall was covered. It definitely looks way darker now than it will be when it dries, so don't let that scare you. Mine also had a green tint to it when it was wet and that worried me a bit, but it dried to the most perfect brown color. We put polycrylic top coat on it because it honestly just felt right for me to do and I am so glad that I did. It gave a slight sheen, which I loved, and it protected the plaster. The walls are really chalky and some parts were even transferring off when you touched it. So I felt like the polycrylic was a great barrier for that and it just made the surface very smooth and wipeable. I used the color Rustic Taupe for the plaster and I'm absolutely in love with how it turned out. It truly made the whole bathroom such a vibe. I cannot wait to show you it with the wallpaper and everything else in here. Time to replace this pedestal sink with literally anything other than this. We got this antique wash station secondhand for free and we wanted to make some slight changes just because it was feeling a little orange. To take away any brassiness, Nick used the oven cleaner trick. We've done this many times with wood furniture and I love the natural result that it gives. You basically just spray the oven cleaner on it, let it sit for 20 minutes and then scrub with some dish soap and water. Then you wash away all of the excess with a hose. Poor Nick didn't get the whole hose memo so he wiped it all up which takes way too long definitely don't do that um, but you can see the oven cleaner essentially strips away all the stain to restore the wood back to its natural state show me where the ending goes honest honestly don't Nick took the vanity back in to measure where we need to cut for the plumbing and we're gonna add in a vessel sink and a gold faucet but I'll show you those a little bit later on There's some wallpaper in here that doesn't flow with the space. So we're gonna add this linen wallpaper from Timu over it just to cover it up. This is peel and stick and it's neutral, but it still has interest with the linen texture. This whole roll was less than $9. I couldn't even believe it. And I had more than enough. So I'm gonna have to find more places for this wallpaper around my home. I really love it though. So I'm definitely not complaining. Nick's putting that same polycrylic top coat on the vanity so we can protect it from any water or mold forming from the sink. We always use water-based top coat because it turns a lot less yellow than oil-based. Now let's add our knobs. These are wooden with a woven texture. These come in a pack of six for only $8. I love the texture these guys add to the vanity as well. This really just gives this vanity the perfect finishing touch. the wallpaper this is real wallpaper but it's pre-pasted so you're supposed to get it wet but i have wallpaper paste so i feel like it's just yeah there's the wallpaper paste <laughs> thanks babe um so i feel like it's just gonna be easier if i just like slather the walls with wallpaper paste and then put this up um or else i'm gonna have to find like a big bucket or put this in the tub or something and then that's just gonna get really hard so I'm gonna use the wallpaper paste. Silly me didn't take the light down before putting up the wallpaper, so I called in Nick to quickly come in and save the day. I just cut out a hole where the wires are, and I didn't want this hole to be too big because our new light fixture isn't big at all. 
So I wanted it to be able to cover the entire paper. You'll notice that I'm applying the glue with a paintbrush in little sections, which definitely was a mistake. I recommend to cover the entire wall or at least the entire section with glue before putting the wallpaper strip on. I noticed that if you missed even the tiniest spot on the wall with the glue, it creates an air bubble in that spot and it's very tricky to get out. I think the more glue, honestly, the better. It's easier to smooth out and get it perfectly lined up the more glue that you have applied to the wall. The box cutter I'm using is also not sharp enough, so I brought some of the damp paper with it when I was trying to cut the excess off. So just make sure you have a really sharp cutter when taking off the extra paper, just to avoid that and to get a super clean cut. I chose stripes to add in more pattern and I love it. It is the perfect subtle pattern that gives charm while also not being too over the top. It balances perfectly with the plaster on the other walls too. Next, changing out the builder grade light fixture for this one. This has scalloped edges, which I have been loving this year and gives a nice contrast with the stripes. The shade is a milky glass, so it's not totally clear, but, but it's also not a white solid. I love it, especially when it's on and the lights reflect off of the stripes. It is just so cute. Okay, so we clearly have. <laughs> A crack in the window. I was literally just opening it one day like this and it was freezing outside and it just cracked. We are not gonna fix it right now because we just don't have time for that. So as a temporary solution, I got these from Timu and I'm gonna cover the window with them. They're like these window covers and they're really good for privacy too. And whenever people use this bathroom, they're always saying like, I feel like the neighbors can see me use the bathroom. So we needed something for privacy anyways. So we have this kind of striped pattern one. And then this one is supposed to be a rainbow one. And I think this should just work for now until we end up getting this window fixed. But this is this will just kind of keep it covered and it's a temporary solution. cover up as much as I thought it was going to, but I think it looks a lot better. You can't see it as much, but I think I still will put a cafe curtain up. Uh, yeah, let's do that. It is cute, but it's just so dark. Uh, I'm gonna try a different one. Thanks, babe. Yeah. When I put a cafe curtain up in my living room, it was very controversial. So I am very curious to see what you guys think of it in here and if you like it any better in here. Some of you really liked it in the living room, but some of you definitely did not. So let me know if you like it in here or if this is just not your vibe at all. Better. Yeah. Do we like this? It looks cute. It's simple. Well, should I cut these tassels off? No, the tassels are what make it look cute. Wait, really? Yes. It goes with the whole scheme. What's the scheme? It's like old school Victorian. Totally. I kind of like the tassels. Oh, you're joking. And how are 
Diamond. Okay, so I thought this was <laughs> a normal thing, but this is actually just a sticky. We'll see how that works. I totally thought this gold bathroom set had screws, but these sticky things are actually very sturdy and have held up great for all the different hooks I've used. So if I don't have to make holes on the wall, that's always a win for me. I used one for toilet paper, one for a hand towel above the sink, and another to hang a basket that we're using as a trash can beside the toilet and the vanity. I love the modern look that these guys add to the bathroom. This pack also came with a towel bar too, but I'll probably just use that one upstairs because obviously there's no shower in this powder bath, so no need for that one here. I also got the set of four canvas prints from Timu for only $6. These prints are so pretty and they're vintage and they come on canvas paper. I was super impressed with the quality of these for the price. I was planning on doing a gallery wall with all these prints in here, but after doing the plaster, I almost just didn't want to cover too much of it up. There's just so much little detail on the wall that I wanted exposed and since the texture is so thick, I don't think we needed decor on every single wall. Another vice, grab my old I left the wall to the left blank and on the back wall I put a tiny shelf that I thrifted a long time ago. I also oven cleaned this guy a while back and the color turned out amazing for this wood piece. Honestly, this little shelf kind of inspired this whole makeover and I just think it is so cute and the tiny size of it just fits great in this tiny little bathroom. I'm hanging one of these canvas prints above the little shelf. And below it, I'm putting a wooden stool that I had in placing this tiny faux tree and the scalloped planter on top. I love this tree, but I do think it was making the space feel a bit too cluttered just because this space is so small. So I opted to change it out with this vintage vase and flower bunch instead, and it just fit the vibe in the room so much better, and it was just so much more functional for the space. Is ash. Till it's left. It's ash. I put these two seagrass woven baskets on top of the toilet for additional storage for extra toilet paper or any other bathroom products. Love, love, love this bath mat too. It is a taupe color and it has a waffle textured fabric. It also has little grippies on the bottom to prevent it from slipping or sliding around. It is so cozy and squishy and soft and for only $13, I'm so happy with this. I'm adding this potted dandelion plant in this apricot color to this little shelf and also adding a little fluted candle in a milk white glass to coordinate with the scones. I also put this grid pattern tea towel and hung it on the hooks to add some additional texture over here on this wall. I'm putting this wooden candle holder down on the vanity and instead of putting a candle in it, I'm putting a soap dispenser. This soap dispenser was a little bit more of a splurge but it's super heavy and it's really great quality. Almost like a stone or travertine like material. This is silver instead of gold unlike the gold in the rest of the bathroom which I actually prefer because I think the gold can be too much and mixing metals is always a good option and a great way to add some interest to a space in my opinion. We added in a gold arch mirror that we already had and happened to fit the space perfectly. 
I will show you that at the end when I show you the whole reveal. For the sink, we use this marble vessel sink. This is a beige color and it has a beautiful neutral stone veining throughout. It's a really unique shape and I think it matches everything else in here just wonderfully. And here is the faucet that we use. It is so beautiful. It is a satin gold color. This was the most affordable one I found and I think it looks really, really expensive in my opinion. Nick did all the plumbing. He honestly just YouTubed it, which is what we do for pretty much everything in our home. I always like to say, when in doubt, YouTube it out. This faucet is the last item from Timu that really made this whole makeover shine. Things are gonna go my way. I'm gonna let the sunshine in the day. Okay, okay, we are all done with our vintage moody powder bath. Let me remind you where we started with our very bland builder grade bathroom. It was definitely lacking personality, privacy, and just that inviting aspect when entering. On a major budget and with the help of Timu, we managed to transform this boring powder bath into this. Please consider subscribing if you're new. I'm always posting new affordable and doable home makeovers like this. Leave a comment and let me know what you thought of this bold bathroom. I definitely stepped out of my comfort zone for this one and I don't regret it at all. Thanks again to Timu for sponsoring today's video. Don't forget to check them out, you guys. They really do have such good things on there for such great prices. I will have everything that I used for this makeover linked down below as well as a discount code where you can get $100 off and you can also get a free gift if you download the app. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like the way our powder bath turned out we will see you in a few days in a new video bye guys